The new beauty boom, over 56 million Americans suffer from some form of hair loss, and approximately 40% of those are women. It's a problem that affects confidence and self-esteem, but now a new treatment may hold promise in helping men and women regrow their own hair. ABC's Mars Cavacampo has the details. Move over, hair club for men. I'm not only the hair club president, but I'm also a client. Now, a promising new hair loss treatment for women and men that may help to regrow and thicken hair without surgery, drugs, or expensive ointments. Just look at these before and afters. Doctors who use it say the secret is something you already have, platelets in your blood. Platelets have growth factors in them, and they're very, very good at getting hair to regrow and getting the hair follicles to thicken. It's called platelet-rich plasma therapy, or PRP, and research is preliminary, but promising. While the procedure is not yet FDA approved, doctors who use it say it's simple. Blood is drawn, the plasma separated in a machine, and platelets from the patient's own blood injected directly into the scalp, saying that they contain growth factors that stimulate the regrowth and thickening of hair follicles. Regina Mittler used PRP for her thinning hair. I've always had fine hair and I've always wanted fuller volume. Signature? She says that just weeks after her first treatment, she noticed a difference. And here she is after five treatments. I feel the hair coming in, I feel the thickness. I love the results. At just 22 years old, Joseph Catanese's hair started thinning. He tried every over-the-counter product available. Over time, it just got worse and worse, and I didn't know what else to do. He's had five procedures now, and he's gained more than just a head of hair. It gave me my confidence back. It helped me to, you know, help, it helped me to want to go out again. I don't have to wear a hat, and it definitely boosted up my confidence. Some studies suggest that while the results look good, they may not be long lasting. Still, the procedure is giving hope to millions with thinning hair. For Good Morning America, Mara Campo, ABC News, New Jersey. Let's talk to Dr. Jen Ashton about this. Those before and after photos, pretty remarkable. Yeah. What do you say to people who are dealing with this? First of all, this is incredibly upsetting, so that we really need to be empathetic to them. The other thing is I say be patient, and let me show you why. It has to do with the science be between the life cycle of a hair follicle. Think of three stages. First one is anagen. This is really the active phase. 90% of our hair is in this phase. This is when it's growing. This phase lasts for about two to six years. Next phase is the catagen phase. This is transition, lasts a couple of weeks. A minority of your hair follicles are in this stage. And then the final phase, telogen phase, this is the resting phase. And this can last up to six weeks. So you can see with this timeline, if you start a therapy today, you might not see result for a couple of months. So you do have to be patient. So what does it mean that this PRP is, is not FDA approved? Well, for those of us in clinical medicine, it doesn't mean that much. We use things all the time that aren't FDA approved. That, that just means they need more study and a good informed consent process, understanding the risks versus the benefits. But the science behind how PRP is thought to work is pretty cool, George. And let me show you what I mean. If you see regular thinning hair, you inject these growth factors directly into the scalp. It does several things. It increases the diameter or density of the existing hair follicle, recruits new growth, and it's thought to even prevent the existing hair from falling out. I actually had this done. You're going to see my before and after pictures. I had about three hairs on my head on the left. After four treatments, each a month apart, I had a really significant result. But again, it's not for everyone. So it's not going to work for patients who have scarring on their scalp. It's great for male pattern baldness or traction alopecia for people who have had extensions in. And it's being actively studied. So if this doesn't work for you, what does work? A lot of things, things you can do and things that you can take. In terms of things you can take, minoxidil over the counter definitely works. The prescription drug finasteride, especially for men, works also. And then every dermatologist is going to suggest the vitamin B biotin. That can help too. And then what you can do, rest your hair. Don't overprocess. Don't overcolor. If there's a medical cause, treat that underlying medical cause. That's key. But this is exciting research.